Matchstock Wizards fans. Are you ready for some classic 80s video game cheese? This one's called Joysticks. Let's watch. Playing with my joystick. Playing with my joystick. With the left, turkey These two lovely ladies need a picture of a nerd with his pants down. And they found Eugene. Ladies, prepare yourself. I would like you to meet Simba. Smile. Hey, what, what are you Here we are at the video arcade. The girls drove I off with Eugene's Eugene pants. Well, his pants are here. He uh, can't be part of me. <laughs> here we meet Dorfus. Excuse me. Excuse me, young man. When you've got to stop playing the games. You're in disgrace. Excuse me. I graduated last year with me in school. He was our senior class president. You're kidding. He was a senior class president last year? You don't get anything like this. What happened? Games, kid. Video games. From Napoleon Dynamite fame, it's Uncle Rico as King Vidiot. <laughs> Joe Don Baker plays Mr. Rudder, the bad guy in the film. Grandfather's the owner, and he's out of town. So, in his absence, I have complete power and authority. Servant maneuver! <laughs> <laughs> Shenanigans. Rudder's nephews have a plan. They're gonna try to. We gotta look and act like these video game pinball players so we can check out the place and they won't notice it. Okay. Flash, you got it? Uh huh. You got it? What's the point of doing this? I don't know. They have a new plan. They're gonna steal all the video games. Doris and Eugene want to sneak into Mr. Rudder's house to find out some shit on him. Doesn't seem like the greatest plan in the world. Mrs. Rudder got all horny. She's all, also hopped up on pills. Joe Don Baker doesn't know that Eugene's in bed with him and his wife, and Dorfus farted. They loaded the truck, but Jeff and the gang unloaded it before they took off. Patsy leaves with Eugene and Dorfus, and they're going to show them all the video games they stole. We learn that Jeff has never played these games, or doesn't play them. Will the video be allowed to stay at this private party? He will if he can beat Dorfus in the arena. We're gonna play Satan's Hollow. I want you two to arrange a spontaneous public demonstration outside this arcade tomorrow afternoon. That's a good idea, Uncle. My word. They have that picture of Rudder with the two topless ladies. They're basically trying to get him to leave him yeah, alone, otherwise they'll show the picture. Right, fine, let's go. <laughs> but brother didn't play fair. Excuse me, excuse me, all demonstrators, if you come up here, I'm going to 
Protest doesn't go very well. Old people are not playing the games, and Vidiot doesn't like it. He's got a deal for video. You're helping force Jefferson Bailey out of business, and I'll buy you your own video game. So video and his minions cause a huge disturbance at the arcade. The mayor holds a hearing to determine whether or not he should close the arcade. The video arcade has made me what I am today. <laughs> At the hearing, they show the photo, the slide, of Rudder with the topless ladies. <laughs> and the results? Played by Logan Ramsey. If you win, we're gonna have another contest. But if I win, you leave the arcade the hell alone. You know my man, His Highness King Bam. Yeah, and my man is Jonathan McDorfus. And I guess that's why Dorfus and I. The story why Jeff can't play I mean, video games play anymore. Sometimes he would win, and sometimes I win. And... Ah, she must be really good. I was, Eugene. He made love to his girlfriend, Sandy. They lost their virginity to each other after the opening. It was wonderful. Until I looked into a video screen, and there was the reflection of her father. Dad started slapping her. What happened then? They moved out of town, and I haven't seen her since. And now, every time I look into one of those screens, I see the reflection of her father. He's playing the X-rated game, Streaker. He's getting his skills back. Dorfus has been kidnapped, so that's why Jeff is forced to play. But he's having problems. It was uh, Rudder's nephews who stole him. The fart woke Mrs. Rudder. Who remembers the fart from that night? And I guess that's a big turn on for Mrs. Rudder. The nephews have left, so she's gonna let him go. Dorfus is getting bored. Now Rudder makes a mistake here. He touches the idiot, which he doesn't appreciate, so the idiot quits, but he's way, way, way ahead. Meanwhile, the mayor's now decided to play video games. And Jeff wins. Grandpa Joe came back. George. Sandy. Our movie ends with setting him up with Mrs. Rudder. Who's ready for him? And that's how our movie ends. Alright, let's talk about joysticks. A cult classic for gamers. Wow. Now, this is a movie, I'll be upfront honest, I love this movie. I love, love, love it. I've seen it 
probably over a hundred times in my life. Now, granted, I did see it during my formative years back in the 80s, uh, mid-80s. I had taped on beta tape. I think I had it on a Sony tape. No, it was a scotch tape. Um, and I watched it a lot. I had a friend who had this movie. We watched it over and over again. It's so quotable to me. I, I, I know some of, I know most of the uh, script by heart. I can speak it along with, with the uh, actors and actresses in the movie. It's just a fun movie. I mean, of course, I grew up in the video game era. I loved all these games. I loved this movie. I, and of course, this is it's basically a, a teenage horny movie, as uh, Roger Ebert used to call them, a teen sex comedy, 80s teen sex comedy. They, they used to pump these things out left and right. This one has the video game angle, of course, which made it so much better. But I do like the characters. I like Dorfus. I like Eugene. It's just a fun movie, and there's enough nudity going on in it to keep you interested as well. It's just, I don't know, I enjoyed this movie. I have to say, today was the first time I ever found out what that strip video game was called. Um, I couldn't really show the scenes for strip video because... Two ladies are topless while they're playing the game, um, but I could never figure out what it was called. Now, thanks to this Blu-ray here, you can see things a lot clearer. I noticed a lot of things that I'd never seen before, um, just things on the wall, posters and this and that. Now, the game he's playing says Americana on it. I looked it up. I figured it out it's actually a game called Streaker, and it was like an X-rated video game. It did exist. Um, yeah, I'm just very proud of myself for finally figuring that out. Anyway, I don't know why I talk about that, but anyway... Joysticks is available. It's got a couple of DVD releases as well. I don't know if any of them were the best quality because, well, I do have them and I can tell you they're not. A couple different companies put them out. And then uh, Scorpion put out the Blu-ray, uh, which has a um, director's commentary by Graydon Clark, who is a Facebook friend of mine. Um, there's also a standalone interview with Graydon Clark as well. And the movie's in widescreen. It looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, God, it's just more beautiful than a movie like this ever should look. But it's fantastic. I love this film. I think people have a lot of nostalgia about this film. People who are my age and grew up in the 80s with video games and the teen sex comedy movies. Um, which might be a reason why this Blu-ray is out of print and kind of expensive now. If you track this down on eBay, they're out there. You can find them. But they like go for like 70, 80 bucks. It's insane um, how much they are. But this is one of those that if you're a big fan like I am, you have to have it. you got to get it. So anyway, it's called Joysticks. It's awesome. More fun than games. Yeah, whatever. Joe Don Baker, of course, was in this. He also did another movie with uh, Graydon Clark uh, called Wacko, which came out about the same time. Um, that's actually coming out on Blu-ray really, really soon as well. I'll probably check that down as well. So anyway, check out Joysticks. I'm sure a lot of people have seen this and uh, have memories about it. Let me know what they are. Leave some comments down below. Let's talk about it. It's called Joysticks. Watch it. Bye.